Hello everyone, an extremely warm welcome to you. My name is Nick on the ZX Spectrum 128K. I'm looking at a game called Superbike Trans Am, published by Codemasters in 1989. Yes, it's a motorbiking racer. The instructions say it's a 3D realistic simulation. Well, we'll see about that. But you're racing between Florida and Alaska over five stages. The time ticks down, a bit like Super Hang On, so we'll compare it with uh, that. And you get a time bonus for the amount of bikes you've overtaken. So the first of all, we start start off in the desert, then the city, then the maze, then jumps it says here, then the arctic. Let's go, uh, as soon as it goes green of course. Right, goes green. Let's, oops, I'll span it. Now if you hit any of the cars it spins around, you'll see the road is not solid, it's made up of dots. There was another game, well a couple of games that uh, done that, and I've crashed into whatever that is and it's exploded. Right, the frame rate isn't brilliant, but the uh, sprite or the, the graphic we're controlling is made up of a number of colours, so well done there. So a sparse scenery, but uh, yes, on emulation you could probably double the speed of this and it, you might start feeling the bounces like Stunt Car Racer, but it looks like it's struggling a little bit, although, strangely, I am enjoying it. The roadside obstacles seem to be drifting about as the machine drives it along, but it's got good undulation. Oh, jump! You can, there is a jump button here, and that, that's pretty cool. We've gained a bit of height. There is a bit of undulation, and the system is doing a lot. The engine is a mild hum uh, in the background. If you had this back in the day, let me know. So across the top, on the left we've got the score, which is irrelevant. We just need to get to the next stage. Uh, next that is the time ticking down. Uh, there's speed, then the stage, we're on stage one of five, and on the right there you can see the distance to before the stage ends, so 36 kilometers, mm, we're, we're doing a kilometer a second, that's quite fast, doesn't, doesn't quite feel like that, I'm most interested to see if the scenery all changes colors and how easily that happens, uh, like Outrun, but you know, considering the amount of stuff it's moving, hasn't aged particularly well, no real reason to go play it now, but considering the amount of stuff it's doing, it's not doing too badly. Low frame rate is suffering and I've run out of time, right? Well, I do have a poke for this, but I won't try it. I'll have another go, because it's all about seeing how you would have got on on your first or second go, would have been enough there for you to want to play it again. And I think I would have done. Don't get me wrong, I preferred Super Hang On two years earlier from 1987. Uh, there's other games as well, Full Throttle 84, had a sequel in 1990, weren't overly keen on that. And there's a rather a splendid homebrew called Just a Gal. That was by Zosnia Entertainment in 2019, so check out that one, Just a Gal, that's pretty good. But, but the good thing about this is the actual rider itself. You can get used to the frame rate with your Spectrum eyes on and the way that you can do these jumps and it's got fantastic undulation. Love the undulation. Not sure what they scored back in the day but Codemasters generally knew what they were doing. They did kick up the occasional stinker. But uh, yes, you do have to get used to jump, you do have to get used to the speed of the thing uh, frame rate wise. As soon as you're doing that you're cooking on gas. Play the video at twice the speed, if you can do that then it probably, probably looks pretty cool. Right, so, can I get off stage one? Distance, 50 kilometers, and I've got to do that in 35 seconds. Get on your calculator. How quickly do we need to go for that? So rest assured, or take into account, every one of these bikers we go past, I think when we go past the checkpoint, we get awarded extra time based on how many people we've overtaken. So do that, don't hang back, blast it. Right, 24 kilometers, come on. Wish me luck. Fingers crossed, Florida to Alaska. Alaska, is that in the Arctic? I thought that was in America. Anyway, maybe, maybe that's what it's kept. Maybe it's just the general theme. So, desert stage, that's this. So I suppose those those odd lines there are cacti. Two kilometers, but well, we're gonna do it, are we? Time ticket, yay, and it turns into, oh my God, what a mess. It turns into science straight away. So this is the city, do you recognize it? Each side, oh my eyes. Each side there's buildings. There's some sort of bridge, I think. What's that going on with that horizon? There's a there's a cyan line across the middle. Let's try and forget about that. Uh, right, can I get off stage two? Seems, well, 77 kilometers, but we've got about 54 seconds. We're gonna have to do a jump here, because the bridge is out. Jump! Have I made it? I think I might have done. That's exciting. Okay, so, it's drawing buildings either side. We don't want to bash into those. Uh, on tight bends, we need to break considerably, or we can, oh my word, the buildings are drifting into the road. This isn't, this isn't quite working, but anyway, if you have completed this game, then let me know. I quite like it, but it's a guilty pleasure, can tell it's really, really, really struggling. 
not sure this came out on the Commodore 64 or not. I'll have to look that up. If it did, uh, I'll have to see how that copes with the thing. Oh, my bike's getting bashed all over the place. That spinning animation is rather cool. So I don't think I'm going to get off stage 2, am I, now, with those amount of crashes I've had, but maybe I will do. 22 seconds uh, and 27 kilometres. Oh, another spin. I can't really make out the terrain sometimes, what's actually happening, but this is what 200. And 48 miles an hour looks like. Yes, don't implode. Eight seconds. Oh, look at this. I might do it. Seven. Oh, I'm not going to do it anyway. What do you? I might do it. Look, three, two, co change colour, please change colour. Yay! So it's all gone green and blue. That's great. Oh god, what's going on on the left of me now? What the hell is that? It's. It says maze. It says maze stage. Oh, I don't know where I'm driving. What's that? Is that supposed to happen like that? What is that on the road? Oh, this, yeah, I, I, I crashed into something I don't know what. Is that the actual game, or is that something weird? Maybe I'm stuck in a tunnel or something. Oh, man, this, this looks really weird to my eyeballs. Are we, oh, perhaps on the right-hand side is a river, maybe. Let's try and keep over here. It's very, very jank. Oh, jump. Cut the fences. Jump over that. Good. Turbo boots, like Knight Rider used to do. Oh, that, oh, man. Is that guy driving? Ugh. Right, we've got away from those. I don't know what that was we were driving next to. Some sort of bridge or something, but it's gone now. And now we're going past some lollipops. My boy lollipop, ba -da -ba -ba, you make my heart go, whoa! Oh, man. Right, uh, so this is the maze, then. If I get through this, the next, the next stage is jumps. So for a first go, I'm, well, the second go now, isn't it? I'm not doing too badly. I've uh, got a chance of doing this. What, we've got 26 seconds and 29 kilometres. Just, oh dear. Crashed into a fence. If you, have, if you are on a motorbike and currently have crashed into a fence as you're spinning through the air, then comment in the comment section below. I hope you land safely. Remember to bend your legs. It's all about bending your legs, they say. Good. Who says this? No one. If you like any ZX Spectrum stuff, they're all in a playlist. To get there, click on my username, take to the channel page, take, click on the playlist tab, and ZX Spectrum will be there, along with a load of other systems. And please, oh, it, I'm on the jump stage. Please consider subscribing. Green and yellow sky. Right, please consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. A massive thank you to people who have subscribed so far. So I'm on stage four here, a five set. I reckon I can complete this game, given enough goes. I've got used to the dotty road, I've got used to the frame rate, the, the sound in the background, well you get used to that as well, it doesn't sound much like a motorbike, it sounds like maybe a bee trapped under a sink, uh, but uh, that's okay, if you are a bee trapped under a sink then comment in the comment section below, we'd love to hear from you, did you do the recording for the bike in this game from 1989, you'd be a pretty long lived bee I suppose. Right, uh, I'm running. I'm running above now. I'm miles off, the, miles off the road, and that someone's bumped into the back of me. That always used to be the problem with um, super hang-on uh, bikes, were just crashing into your rear back wheel, costing you loads and loads of time. But I'm not going to get 23 kilometres in about five seconds, am I? I presume the last stage went white. It's the Arctic. It's the sort of thing they would do. Maybe have a magenta sky or black sky or something like that. Good. I quite like that. Good, good, good. I think I will have one last go. Why not? Uh, we aim the reviews to be about 10 minutes in length, but sometimes I'm enjoying the game so much I'll uh, have another go or forget about it. It's Superbike Trans Am, not to get confused with the name Trans Am, which is a quality game in an apocalyptic world from Ultimate, which is a lot different to this. You had to collect trophies and stuff on a downward map, and probably a much better known game than this one. I mean, 1989, quite late in Spectrum's run, but the Spectrum run was still going. Commodore Amiga Atari ST was starting to creep onto the scene, Mr. Bean. Oh, well, I've crashed into a cacti again. Is it cacti or cactuses? Let me know about that. Uh, right, Dotty Road. That'd be a good name of a girl, wouldn't it? If you are called Dotty Road, well, well done you. Right, speed long. The, the back wheel doesn't like it's moving, does it really? It's, it's, it's a bit of clip art, it feels. Uh, but um, it's you get a bit of smoke kicked up when you do a jump. Uh, there, so that's one thing, there we go, kicked out a bit of smoke but um, no real sign that you are driving a physical bike there but overall I quite like it I uh, don't know why, guilty pleasure again I suppose but it's, it's doing a lot of stuff it's a bit tricky to drive and talk at the same time but you do need to keep your eye on this road like most racing games I suppose but this one in particular because it's not solid but check out the undulation baby that's a good that's a good thing to say uh, but um, in the right uh, situation otherwise people think what's he going on about 
you might think that already. Uh, massive thanks to the members, I will shout out to you for keeping the channel running. I always enjoy when we bump into a racing game because we cover quite a lot on the spectrum and they're gradually running out, but it's quite quite nice to find this one. Uh, Codemasters also did another Trans Am game to do with cars, uh, that, that might be worth checking out as well. Don't know if it uses the same engine as this or it's completely different, so that's one to look at. Right. Oh, game over again. I didn't do very well there. I was just mucking about, I suppose. Yeah, I quite like that. It, it's, it hasn't aged particularly well, but it's doing a lot of stuff, and there are much better games out there. But I, I would have I would have played it quite a bit back in the day, I think. Good old Codemasters. So, hope you like having a look at that one. That was Superbike Trans Am, a doable game on the ZX Spectrum 128K, published by Codemasters in 1989. Got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that in the comment section below. You're more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself, and a very fond. Goodbye. Goodbye. If you are on a motorbike and currently have crashed into a fence as you're spinning through the air, then comment in the comment section below. I hope you land safely. And now we're going past some lollipops. My boy lollipop, you make my heart go whoa.